welcome to another pick a card with me the divination duchess so today we are talking about who's missing you right now please note these are timeless pick a card so whenever you run into it the messages is for you okay now who's missing you, who's thinking about you, who may be obsessing over you, you know, just can't get you out of their mind, their hearts, their souls. So we're going to tap into their energy today and see what's going on with them. So we got our three piles. As usual, you can pick card number one, change in the wind, card two, survival or card three uncertainty as i always state this is a general collective reading so whatever messages are for you great boom bam we love it if they're not for you that's okay that means that it's for someone else here who is listening and needs to get that message all right you've tapped into your higher self so let's go ahead and get started here with these reveals Hey, Pile One. So quickly before we get started, I just want to say if you haven't checked out Patreon, you are missing out on exclusive video content, free live readings every month, an exclusive group coaching community where you get community support, learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into that confidence you deserve, as well as you can find some intuitive courses on my website to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or to simply leave your your toxic relationship patterns behind you and of course if you'd like to book a reading you can find the details for all of that in the description box below all right there cute stuff hey so we are getting started you chose a change in the wind we're gonna find out here who's missing you thinking about you got you on their heart mind and soul so let's go ahead and get started with the tarot so we got a ten of swords a three of swords a six of cups a seven of cups eight of cups the world justice i'm like i'm all out of alignment okay we got the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Queen of Swords. So with you and this person, there was definitely a lot of heartbreak and separation. We starting off with that kind of heavy and strong there with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Um, I really feel like with this connection, something happened that either seemed like betrayal, I'm hearing the word betrayal, right? Or it could really just feel like you guys could not get on the same page no matter what. There's this deep sense of sadness that came from y'all's separation, okay? There was this deep sense of hurt, pain. I'm hearing from Spirit that this connection is one that really triggered you in a lot of ways, okay? And also triggered this person. So they're in this place here where they're thinking about the ending between you guys. They're thinking about the hurt and pain that really happened here between you guys. I'm hearing that there was a lot of arguments. There was a lot of disagreements. For some of you, yeah, I feel like it got pretty rowdy. I'm seeing some screaming, maybe throwing some things or just maybe feeling like throwing some things. Like there was some energy between y'all. There was some very strong beef, some very strong issues and problems. And so this person kind of reflects on those problems and that beef at times. Um, they know that they really want you back in their lives for sure because it's like even though they think about the negatives they still have this deep sense of the six of cups energy and so this person is like even though I know we had this great fallout or I know we had this beef I know we had this drama I still really miss them like I still really want them in my life I still want to be able to come back and try to make this connection work in some way or at least you know even if we get to just chatting acquaintances something so right now they're really going around in their head because they're confused about what their options are. For some of you, they may have the option to come back into your life. For some of you, you may just feel it was too messy and you ain't really finna deal with it. Yeah, I'm seeing like ketchup and fo like food thrown. I don't know if those arguments about <laughs> food or if at some point there was some food in, in the midst of an argument. I don't know. Maybe y'all was eating and some stuff hit the fan. But 
what I do know is this person feels like y'all have left each other behind, okay? They feel like y'all have really left each other behind, but at the same time, they feel like things have been imbalanced since then. It's, I feel like this person thought that they would be fine without you, like especially when they was popping off and acting up. They was like, I don't really need them. Like, I'm good. You get what I'm saying? So they felt like, you know, it's like, if you're feeling froggy, then leap. This person was like, I'm a leap. I don't really need them. But now they have a regret. So they like, mm, maybe I did kind of need them, okay? And so they're really anxious. They're waiting. This person is thinking about coming forward or I'm wondering, like, if they plan on coming forward with an apology or they plan on just coming forward with some nonsense because it's like, they want to come forward, okay, and they want to establish something solid with you again, okay? They want you guys to be in that place where you're working together again, like where you're on the same team is the energy that I'm getting, okay? They feel like what happened between you guys was very abrupt, or they feel like there was some misunderstandings, like there's some way that y'all can really get past this as long as y'all come to a level of understanding and awareness um, and get on the same page. Like this person has faith that if you guys can come to the same understanding, that things can really move forward here in this connection. And that's what they want. Hmm. They feel like something about your energy is very much seductive to them. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop missing you. They've tried to convince themselves multiple times that it's just an ending. Screw it. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to just be, get over it. But every time they get to that place, they end up just kind of feeling anxious and like, but I really want them in my life. Like, I really care for this person in a lot of ways. And so deep down inside, they kind of trust and have this faith here that things are going to come back around between you guys. They do feel like you are a soulmate to them. Okay. They feel like in a lot of ways, they wish that they could really save this connection. And they're feeling like you guys could save this connection here by just kind of letting go of whatever happened in the past, okay? It's like just going with the flow, not dwelling, not holding on to things of the past here that create drama, friction. It's like this person saying they don't want no problems with you, okay? And I hear you like, well, if they don't want no problems, they should have started no problems, which I agree. You get what I'm saying? But... They're saying for some of you, it's really a misunderstanding, okay? It really is. It really, really is. What's going on here? What is this person's intentions when they come back? We know they want some collaboration, but I'm like, are they apologizing? Are they over-explaining? What's going on with this person that's missing them? It's the Two of Cups. Their full intention here is to come back together in the most positive light. Like, we got the Six of Cups earlier. We got the Two of Cups, okay? We got the Soul Cage. This person here feels like they're not happy without you in their lives. So I feel like they're going to try to please you a lot or appease you. Yes, because they want to defend this connection. They want to fight for it. They really feel like it will ease their mind and their heart and their soul because they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about how things got out of hand. But again, this person is being very meticulous because they're overthinking. They could be moving towards you at an extremely slow rate, okay? So it's like, I feel like this person is one of those people that just get caught in their heads. They almost seem like they could be a passive aggressive as well. This could be some of the energy in which this is how you guys had a blow up in the first place. You know, I, I'm hearing that you thought it was left field for a lot of you, okay? For some of you, you feel like, yeah, it was a long time coming. I knew we was about to have this little beef and this tiff, and I knew I was going to leave them behind. But this person here feels like it's definitely not over. You guys' this connection, y'all situation. They're feeling like they're going to see you sooner than later is what I'm hearing. And it's crazy that it's saying sooner than later when this person moves so damn slow. You get what I'm saying? Like, they they really thinking about it. Um, I feel like a lot of the slow process is them gaining that faith because they do feel like it was such, excuse me, a tragic ending. Like, they, they're trying to gain that faith and believe that because you guys have this kind of soul connection, because there's real love and care in your connection, that you guys can work through anything. So I feel like they're trying to get to that state of being before they decide to move forward. This person, like, again, I almost feel like they may try to 
figure out where they've went wrong in certain ways and grow wiser as an individual. I'm not necessarily getting the vibe of just dead set apology, but I am getting the vibe of we can talk about this and work this out. We can get on the same page. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. Maybe I overreacted. Like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. I feel like this person is a bit stubborn, but because they're missing you so much and they're feeling so drawn to you and attracted to you, it's like they're going to be willing to release some of the stubbornness, but not all of the stubbornness. Like a lot of it, they're just not going to be able to let it go. I feel like there's something that's going to happen abruptly with this person that kind of slaps them in the face and makes them realize that, you know, they need to take some actions and not just continue to overthink about this because they're missing you so much. I feel like this person, especially with this two of cups, six of cups, they're hoping that you're missing them as much as they're missing you. I know for some of you, yes. For some of you, like, oh, not really. Um, but this person just feels like things have ended too abruptly and the door is not closed. Business has not been finished. If for some of them, it could take, you know, some months, it could take weeks, it could just take some days. It depends on what's overthinking for them. But very much in that process of dwelling on this connection and wondering when you guys are going to get back on track, but also feeling like it's up to them to kind of come and apologize to you or open up to you about getting things back on track. I, I feel like they hope that you would, but of course, um, that doesn't mean you necessarily should, because if they was wrong and you reach back out and, and let them feel right, then that could change, you know, make them boost their ego, get them a little cocky. We ain't got time for that. No, we don't. All right, boo. That is it. It was a pleasure. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. And until the next time, bye. Hey, pile two. So quickly, I just want to say Patreon is the place to be. We got exclusive video content, free live readings every month, exclusive group coaching where there's community and support. You learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into the confidence you deserve. I also have intuitive courses on my website where you can open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, as well as learn to leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you. And if you want to book a personal reading, the details for that is below. All right, boo. So you picked the survival card here. We're going to find out who's missing you, thinking about you, got you on their mind and just can't let go. We're going to start off here with the tarot. So we got the fool the knight of pentacles oops the nine of wands the nine of swords the knight of wands five of swords the hierophant the nine of cups the sun strength, the emperor, and justice. Okay, so this person, first of all here, feels like you're kind of on the defense with them, okay? This is someone that feels like you're protecting yourself from them. They feel like you have a lot of stress and strife from, from them. I almost feel like this person has a guilty conscience is the energy I'm getting from pile two, okay? This person feels like in certain ways, maybe there's some broken promises or there's things that they were supposed to do, follow up on, but haven't really done it. Um, this person maybe, yeah, because I, I feel like you can't really fully trust this person is the energy that I'm getting. And they know that. They know that you don't trust them. They know that you have a reason to not really trust them. They know that you're kind of on the defense. They know that they've created a lot of negative thoughts here in your mind. And even though you're in control of your thoughts, I feel like this person here feels like they've contributed here to some negativity. And it's crazy because at first I feel like this person really didn't care about the way they was treating you. They really didn't feel like um, they were doing anything wrong at the time, but now they feel a little bit guilty is what I'm getting, 
okay? And I feel like they're feeling guilty because they're realizing that, damn, I messed up something good. Like, they really ain't messing with me now. They're not talking to me. They don't want to deal with me now. And they're regretting this decision because they really wish you would want to talk with them, mess with them, deal with them. And that's the thing because they've come to this great epiphany that you represent a person that they want in their life, okay? That you actually are a very high value person in their life. And so because they feel like they wronged you and they feel like you're, you've backed off of them because of certain pain, um, stress, maybe this person just bringing the drama, the heat, messiness, whatever it is, it's like you really kind of decided to kind of leave this alone and kind of draw in and focus on what makes you happy. And so this person now is feeling like now that you're in a better disposition, that you could be in a better mood, happier, they're feeling like maybe it's time for them to try to step in and, and, and take control here to bring balance to this connection. So we got believe in the impossible. I feel like this person is really kind of just trusting and believing here that this connection can come back around. They're trying to have a lot of faith here because they know that they wronged you a lot. I'm hearing the word repeat offenders. So I feel like this person for a lot of you is, has repeatedly offended you before you decided to let them go. So it's not like this is something that just happened once. And so this person is almost feeling like, you know, I really just kept testing them. Like I really just kept pushing. I really just kept acting a fool. And now I'm hoping, okay, I'm trying to trust and believe that we can bring this back together somehow. I feel like this person is definitely watching you as well in whatever ways they can. Uh, for a lot of you, so this could be, you know, I know if you got them blocked or you just ain't dealing with them, it could be through secret accounts, it could be through old photos, it could be, you know, through other people, mutual friends, family, whoever, but this person is figuring out, like, or they're focused on really trying to figure out more things about you, they feel like the more they know, the more they're going to be equipped to maybe bring what you need, in a way though, with this knowledge is key, I almost feel it's slightly manipulative, just because it's like they want to try to say and do the right things per what you want. But I feel like they need to just say and do the right things because they know it's what's right in their heart and soul. So with this, I feel like the person is trying to get an edge here on what's the right thing to say and do. Because again, they know that you have blocked them off. They know that you have not been about the BS. Okay, like, hey, you're not getting access to my energy. Hey, I'm not talking to you. Hey, I'm not dealing with this nonsense, okay? Even and if I do talk to you, it's going to be real dry. Two-word answers. I'm saying, like, you you the type just put K. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no matter what the K, whatever. Okay, leave me alone. I'm over it. Like, there's a lot of blockages here. And this person feels blocked. They're tired of being pushed away. They no longer want to feel blocked by you. And so they're in this place here where they're hoping that this connection can re-expand, reopen up, get to a place to where you guys can be cool again, where you can be on the same page. And I'm here like, they felt like maybe y'all was never on the same page, but they hoping y'all can get on the same page. This person is feeling like it's a time where they got to release some of their little attitude and make some sacrifices if they really want to in their life. They feel like what they have been doing hasn't really been working. And so it's like they don't know how to get back into your energy space because I feel like they've tried with this. I feel like this person has tried with some petty stuff or like, you know, those people where there's been some sort of problem, they know they did dirty, but they try to avoid even talking about it. Like they try to avoid the responsibility. I feel like there's been some of this, like this person tries to play coy, play dumb, but that didn't work on you. Like you was like, I'm over it. I'm cutting you off because you always got some games to play. You always trying to play victim or innocent. And we know what it really is. Okay. You're trying to play me. You're trying to test me at the end of the day. So with this, this person is realizing that they got to make some sacrifices. Like they can't just be sitting here and playing these games with you and they know this at this point because you blocked them off, okay? And so they're feeling like they can't play these games with you. So they're thinking about, well, what kind of sacrifices can I make? What can I do here to get them back in my space? What can I do to get back into their good graces? Because this person loves your energy, okay? They want to be nurtured by you. They want to be loved by you. They want to be close to you. They want access to what, all that goodness that you have even though they be acting up. So that could be a little bit weary because it's like, I know you want access, but, and I know you know you did wrong, but are you going to try to do right is the thing. Like you can miss me all day, but are you going to treat me the way I deserve to be treated? Does this person here 
plan on issuing out apologies? Do they plan on treating, you know, Pile 2 correctly? What's going on? Five of Wands. This person <laughs> still has that friction attitude. They still have that friction attitude with this Five of Wands, okay? It's like... They know they was wrong, but at the same time, they want to make some sacrifices, but I feel like they kind of want to yank on you too. It's like, instead of just coming out straight with the apology, I feel like they want to try to convince you and coerce you still. They do want to come together. They do want things to be solid in your connection. Okay, well, what kind of sacrifices does this person plan on making? Because right now it's feeling like some excuses. What kind of sacrifices do they plan on making? The chariot. So trying to bring things to a forward moving action okay but what kind of stuff are they gonna do to make it forward moving overcome the ending yeah this person is so focused on just getting back in your energy space more than anything and that's what they're plotting and planning on i feel like there's a lack of them being kind of genuine when it comes to doing the right thing though because the energy i'm getting is like they're gonna do it because of what they want they want to get closer to you but what about the way they treated you is the thing here, okay? If you know you treated them wrong, do you even feel bad about this? Do you even care? Six of Swords, they want to leave that behind in the past. I get it, but sometimes you got to rectify. You can't just act like it never happened. Yeah, this person hasn't fully decided here to focus on their wrongs. I almost feel like their ego is making them, even though they know they're wrong, their ego tells them that it's, it's not good to reflect on their own wrongs, okay? Like, that's too much pain. That's too much breaking down of their ego. Instead, what they need to do is focus more on this strategy here to get in your good graces. So I feel like even though they may come with it, this person's longevity of treating you right, it may be the same pattern with them. And it's up to you to use your discernment and use your intuition when you deal with this person. They're definitely going to be back around but I do feel like they plan to continue to push on your boundaries, okay? They do plan to kind of do a bait and switch, I guess is the right word. Like, give you as much as they can, but not as much as you deserve. Maybe some bread crumbing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person wants to get close to you. They do feel like they did the wrong things. But the problem is, I don't feel like they feel bad. I feel like they feel like it was wrong. But deep down inside... They're more of a strategist than getting into the nitty gritty of the kind of problems with their communication and emotions and things that led to this in the first place. All right, boo, that is it. Sending you love, light, and blessings. And until the next time, bye. Hey, Pile 3. So quickly, I just want to tell you about Patreon, where you can find exclusive video content, free live readings every month, and an exclusive group coaching community where you get support and learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal any trauma that blocks love, and help you to step into the confidence you deserve. On my website, you can also find intuitive courses that help you to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or simply leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you for good. If you'd like a reading, you can also book one of those on my website. You can find all the details in the description box below. All right, cute stuff. So you picked here the uncertainty card. We're going to find out. Who is missing you right now? What's going on with them? What are their thoughts and feelings here about your connection? What's their intentions? So we're going to start off with the tarot here. We got the Queen of Swords, the Guide with Temperance. We got the Strength card, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Swords. The Six of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Star, and Mastery. So, first of all, I can tell you here that this person is completely heartbroken as they are missing you. Not to say whether they deserve or don't deserve the heartbreak, but they are definitely very heartbroken, very anxious, 
very much just kind of miserable, discontent with life right now. I feel like this person feels like you wised up, okay? Or that there's something about you that's just very strong and very intelligent. And so it's, it's like this person knows that they can't play you or mess with you. Like this person knows here that things are really kind of messed up for the long haul, but they don't want to believe that at the same time. I feel like this person is someone that did offend you in certain ways, but they would like to get past your hard exterior and bring things to balance, okay? This person here feels like this is a connection that's worth fighting for. And I think this is because of the journey of them really getting to that place of appreciating you. I feel like this person had a lack of appreciation for you for the connection they really took it for granted okay and now that you guys aren't really on those speaking terms they're in this place of noticing that you have a lot of value in their life okay that you almost feel like this person has been watching you as well they feel like you be shining okay um it's almost like when you had your chance with somebody that's really amazing, but you messed it up. This is how this person feels like. They feel like they messed up their chance um, with you. But at the same time, yeah, because it's like, I feel like this person wants to come back towards you, but they also feel like you're going to brush them off or blow them off. And so they're really kind of discontent. The way that they envision things working, it always brings them back to anxiousness, heartbreak, but at the same time, I feel like this person does have a strong urge to want to be hopeful that things can move forward. So I feel like they have this battle where sometimes they're really hopeful, but then at the other times, they're really just kind of scared of, can these things, can this work, okay? This person does want this connection to persevere past the obstacles that you guys have had. And they do feel like this is something that you guys need to work towards. But at the same time, they feel like you don't really need them or you're not really worried about them. And so we got that here with the treat yourself. It's like you take care of yourself and prosperity magnet. Like this person feels like you're in this place in your life where you're attracting a lot of good things in your life and you're taking care of yourself. So they feel very unneeded and I'm hearing unwanted. And so this is making it difficult for them to really open up and come back and express here that they want things to really work out between you guys or move forward between you guys. I do feel like this person has a lot of pride. They're not in that space of allowing themselves to be vulnerable, but they want to, okay? They just don't know how to because they feel like you're so well off without them. Like you're so happy. You're so good. I definitely feel like this person either talks, uh, um, ask about you or, or looks you up or thinks about you. Something about your energy tells them that you're so good and you don't really need them. Okay. Um, so I feel like this person is really trying to work on embracing more of their masculine energies, which we all have both feminine and masculine, right? But they're trying to embrace more of their masculine energy so that they can be more of a take charge person here, kind of make this decision towards coming back towards you. Okay, what does this person want here when you come back towards pile three? Do they plan on apologizing? What's going on? What's in their heart and mind? What's in their heart and mind? Seven of Pentacles again. So we got them twice in a row. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. This person is just very anxious. Like they don't know what to do. Like I feel like it's because they know that they got to put in work here to make this work. They know that they can't just try to say anything. They know they can't come back in lazy. They know they can't just wait for you to apologize or, or come in. Something about it lets them know that they got to put in some energy and effort. And I feel like this makes them a bit anxious and weary because they do want to be closer to you, but they're... They also have, a, the thing is, it's like they have a lack of confidence with this Three of Swords is what I'm getting too because of all the heartbreak and sadness. They're just not seeing clearly an opportunity. Okay. Page of Swords. Yeah, this person, they feel that there's a lot to talk about. For They feel like there's a lot to clear the air, a lot of things to overcome. And like I said, they also feel like you might not even care to talk about it. Like, 
I keep hearing like I'm good in that Jesse's Child song, like so good, so good, so good. Yes, like this person feels like you just feel so good without them. It it kind of is a punch in the gut for them, but you know, for some of them, they might deserve it. I mean. They want things to come into balance in this connection. So are they going to apologize? Are they going to come with some sort of offer? And what are they going to do to bring it to balance? Six of Swords. So they do want to leave the negativity behind, okay? They want to leave the drama behind. They want to focus here on a more positive thing. They do feel like you guys have had a lot of power struggles in your connection. Like you say left, they say right. You say up, they say down. You say red, they say blue, okay? Okay. They do feel that this energy has been between you guys, and I feel like that's where they know they would have to work on themselves, or they would have to work on bringing less conflict here to this connection for you to be open to it, okay? I feel like you just are tired of conflict, tired of negativity. Yep, and here goes the conflict, Five of Swords. So, what are they going to do about it? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is moving towards you very slowly, but surely. They're thinking about all the areas of your connection that felt defeated. All the areas where, like I said, there's been this energy of you guys going in two separate directions. And so, I feel like it's really a confidence thing for this person. As they become more confident and step more into that decisive masculine energy then they feel less intimidated by the fact that you don't really need them, okay? That you're not maybe sitting around pondering over them or dwelling over them as much as they are you. But I know a million and one percent, this person feels like things should persevere. But with this Knight of Pentacles being the slowest mover in the deck, they could be thinking about this for a very long time, okay? So this person could be coming back in months, it could be years. Not a pentacle is slow, baby. It is slow, okay? So, if you're waiting for this person to kind of bring in some sort of apology or to try to do the right thing, balance the scales, you might be waiting for quite some time just because this person thinks about it, thinks about it, thinks about it, thinks about it. It's like they plant the seed in their head, okay? This is what needs to happen, but then it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if I do all this and this person still rejects me? That's what I'm getting clearly right now. Like, what if I put in all this work, okay? I do all this to try to fix the connection, but because they, you know, this badass and they like to take care of themselves and they don't really need me, now what if they reject me? So this person does have a deep fear of rejection. I love it because this uncertainty actually goes perfect with the pile because it's like this person's uncertain of how you're going to react. They're uncertain about their place in your heart and soul. And I know for some of you, like, they right. They ain't really got a place, so they can leave me alone. But for some of you, this person does feel like, you know, what place do I have? And they may have something minor, the place to apologize, the place to really uh, get things back on track. But I feel like it's almost like one day this person's just going to be like, screw it. I'm going to send a text and screw it. I'm a, And if they block, they're going to have to get over it. Maybe an email, okay? I don't know. But they like, screw it. I'm going to try to fix this one way or another we're gonna have to try to talk it out even if i don't necessarily want to or agree with it or want to go with it it's like they're going to be willing to make that sacrifice at that point once they decide to start being more vulnerable and allowing themselves to work through these thoughts feelings and emotions instead of always being a hard ass okay this pile of thinks they're hard ass and that's just leaving them anxious and worried that's all it's doing all right boo that is it sending you love light and blessings and until the next time bye